Hey Flowbody family, my name is Janie Kokakis and I'm the co-founder of Flowbody. Today, we're going to give you a preview of our 12-week program that's launching in September. We are so pumped about this. This is actually day one of the 12-week program and we're going to get right started. So what you're going to need, roll out your mat. We're going to need an ankle strap or foot strap, five pound resistance band, your handle weights, and I'm actually going to take you straight through the workout today. We're going to do everything together since everybody might be new. So let's get started. Are you ready? Here we go. First, we're just going to dance it out. Let's move it. Get that blood flowing. Get that cardio in. Pump it up. Here we go. Hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. We're going to have fun. Morning dance parties. Maybe get some shimmying in, whatever you, feels good for you. All right, in five, we're coming down, and I'm going to show you how to undo the weights. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So if you watched the tutorial, you should know this locking mechanism. You just unscrew it, and we're going to rock those handle weights back and forth. Take one out. And take two out. All right. To start this workout, we're actually going to start weights here. We're going to start in a high plank. So high plank, I want your wrists to be directly underneath your shoulders. Arms are going to come back. And we're just going to bring that left leg to meet our left hand. So we're here. And then we're going to open it up. So runner's lunge into open heart. We're going to alternate sides. Just working on grounding our body. And breathing. Probably gonna hear me breathing through this. It's the first time with our microphone. Feel those hips really open up, that chest open up. Two more each side. Here we go. Notice that flexibility increase as we go. All right, go ahead. Pop back, pop back up. Grab those weights. We're going into a cardio burst. So. I'm going to provide modifications for a lower impact since some of you might want lower impact. So here we go. The first one is star jacks. So we're here in and we're going to come out and jack out. So we're in towards our heart, out, just like that. Here we go. Modification, out and out, out. Also, you can drop the weights in three, two, one, and go. Make sure you're breathing and smiling. Start checking in with that core. Are you tight? You guys got this. Remember modification in 
and out. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. Maybe do a little rocky. Move those arms side to side. Next one we've got, we've got a squat with an oblique crunch. We're gonna alternate. So what that's gonna look like, once you get in a decently, maybe a little legs, a little further than hip width apart, we're gonna squat down, bring that leg up and crunch. Down, crunch. Keeping those knees out when you squat, not letting them go in towards the midline. I'm out of breath. Here we go. Work on some balance as well. Two more each side after this one. Here we go. Brace that core, pretend like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. You're gonna tighten up. Last one. Good. Next move, another cardio burst. Woo! Here we go. So we're doing seal claps. Kind of a different version of a jumping jack again. So we're here, in and out. Modification again, bringing one arm and one leg at a time. Here we go. Breathe it out. You got this. Feel those calves, those legs burning. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Walk it out, grab a drink. And we're coming down to the mat. So we're gonna start using our resistance bands. So I'm gonna show you how to thread them through. The easiest way is to unzip the body bar, take it completely off. I'm using my five pound today. I recommend starting with the five pound if you're new. If you've done a workout with us before, go ahead and go to the 10 if you com feel comfortable. All right, so I've got mine through. I'm gonna line up that zipper. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Woo! All right, we're actually gonna clip both hand weights onto those resistance bands. So really make sure to check that connection. And we're gonna start using the left handle weight as the anchor. So go ahead and feed it through, kind of place it in there. You don't have to lock it or anything, just make sure it's secure in there. We're gonna take that right side, with our, in our right hand. We're gonna bring our right foot either into that zipper 
or you can have it a little bit on the body bar, whichever one's more comfortable for you. Wide stance. We're going to come back and across. So hay balers. Down and across. Really working on stretching out those obliques. Good. I've started, have you? Engage that core. Slowing down a little bit with that breath. And smile. It's always better when you smile. Start to feel that burn in those hamstring and glutes. That's a good thing. We've got five more. Four, three, two, and one. All right. We're going to keep that right foot towards the body bar, but this time we're going to place it in the middle of the body bar with our heel on it, and we're going to switch our hand to the left. So we're going to do some boxing. Push out that negativity. Let's start this day on a positive note. Here we go. Or night. End it on a positive note. So we're going to do jab and uppercut. So jab, palm is towards the floor, uppercut, palm is towards the ceiling. When you're doing this, I want you to think about using your core rather than just using your arms. When people box or in boxing, they're really using that core to get all that force. So that's where it's going to come from. Want to make it harder, step out a little further into a bigger lunge. All right, here we go. So we're jab and uppercut. Jab and uppercut. Jab, uppercut. Here we go. Jab, uppercut. Get a little bounce into it. You got this. I'm breathing heavy too, guys. Right there with you. Punch through, get that pop. Get a little cocky with that punch. Here we go. Feeling that bicep work, that shoulder. Notice that slight turn when I'm punching. Really working those obliques. Breathe. We've got three more. Two. Last one. Here we go. Good. So now you guys are pros. We're doing those hay balers and those jab and uppercuts one more time, same side. Go ahead, grab that wide stance. Here we go. We're down, looking down, shooting across. You guys are amazing. So beyond grateful for you. You showed up. You gave yourself the space to move your body. Keep going. Beautiful.
Now, when I'm not talking, I really want you guys to just think about sitting in the moment and where you are, where you're feeling that tension, what you're feeling at this exact moment. We've got three more. Two, last one, and one. Good. Switch that band to the other arm. Bring that right leg into the middle of that bar. Step it out into that lunge. We've got those jabs and uppercuts. Here we go. Brace that core like someone's gonna punch you. Here we go. And jab, uppercut, jab, uppercut, jab, uppercut. Good job. Modification for this too, guys. If this is too heavy, go ahead and just put that hand strap or foot strap on and put it on the middle of your hand. Super important to make sure you're breathing during this one. Push out that negativity. Positive vibes in here, guys. Three more. Push through it. Two. Last one. Nice work. You just finished one side. All right, here comes the fun part. We're gonna unclip both sides. So go ahead and rotate that other hand weight out. Just keep that resistance band in there. We're gonna do a little bit of a modified burpee, so get a little more cardio. So, just like we were in tabletop, or this high plank position for those runner lunges, I want you here. We're gonna come to our hands, grab those weights, and push up. Bring that chest up towards whatever you're facing, nice and straight up, not leaning towards the ground. Grab those weights, press up. Show you the modification before we get started. That's just here, here, here. You can grab the weights, press up. If those weights are too much for you, just do the press up motion, or don't. Do you. You guys know what's best for you. All right, here we go. And we're into those half burpees in three, two, one, and go. Here, grab those weights, press up. You all are killing it. Nice work. Think of how much stronger you're becoming just today. Mentally, physically, stronger. <laughs> Sit into that burn. <laughs> Here we go, three more. Keeping those knees out wide. One more, here we go. And up, come on up. Shake it out a little bit. Get that Rocky going. Hey, we're doing boxing, might as well use a Rocky reference, right? We're moving to those same workouts on the other side. So, we're gonna add those weights on. This time your right side's gonna be the anchor. Always make sure to check, make sure that resistance band's secure. Go ahead, feed it through. Clip this one on. Grab a drink first. Got 
Guys, I have to be honest. It's the first time using this microphone, and I'm trying not to breathe heavy, and it's making me breathe heavier. So if you hear me breathing in your ear, I apologize. It's like that Hey Arnold. Anybody remember Hey Arnold? I don't remember his name, but then the girl would punch him. That's what I feel like. All right, so we're going into those hay balers again. I'm going to be faced away from you this time. So left foot is into that body bar, into that zipper area. We've got a wide stance. We're coming back and across, just like that. Back and across. Back and across. Here we go. Breathe. Really wring out those abs. Pretend like that resistance is there on the way down as well. We've got three more. Two. Last one. And one. Good. Switch that resistance band so the handle's in your right hand. Left foot in the middle of that body bar. Right foot's already out. Into that nice lunge. Challenge yourself, guys. Get out into that lunge. You got this. So that right or that left foot is being the anchor onto that body bar. And we're working our balance when we're doing this too. All right. So we've got those jabs, uppercuts. Use that core. Here we go. Jab, uppercut. Jab, uppercut. Punch away whatever self-doubt you're having right now. I am so proud of you for showing up and working hard. You got this. Get that little bounce, get cocky with it. Three more best ones, here we go. These are your best. Two, last one, and one. Good, nice work, whoo. You guys are doing awesome, here we go. All right, we've got one more set. We're going to hay balers and back to those punches. So you guys know the drill. Grab that left foot, ground it into that zipper body bar area. Nice wide stance for me. Both hands on that weight. We're looking back and across. Back and across. Back and across. Nice work. We've got three more. Work through it, push through this. Last one. Resistance there on the way down. Good. Come on back up. Left leg goes into the middle of that body bar. Pressing that body bar down. Right leg comes out. We're into those jabs and uppercuts. Here we go. So we're jab and uppercut. Jab. And uppercut. Here we go. Punch like you mean it, guys. Remember that modification? Add that hand strap. Keep 
keeping that left hand up, kind of protect your face. Three more. Three. Here we go. Two. Last one. And one. Nice work. Hey, hey, hey. Unclip those handle weights. We've got those modified burpees. I want you to grab a drink first. Important to take short little water breaks throughout your workout. Not chugging, just sipping. All right, so weights are right in the middle there. Into that high plank. Wrists are right underneath those shoulders. We're gonna jump our feet to the outside of our hands, keeping our knees pushed outward. All right, here we go. In three, two, and one, press it up, bring it back, bring it out, press it up, chest is lifted, be proud, I'm going to show you the modification. Step back, step back, step up, step up. Grab those weights and lift them. Wherever you are, meet your body where it's at. Do you for you. We've got three more. Two more. Last one. Whew, stand it up. Nice work, guys. We're coming down to the mat. You guys are killing it. So proud of you. We're going to connect one hand of weight to that left side, and we're going to use it as our anchor. And then we're going to take our strap. We're going to use it on our foot. We're going to put it on our right foot. Now, a couple options here. You can either put it on your ankle here, or you can put it on the middle of your foot. I feel more comfortable with having it on the middle of my foot. I feel like it's more stable there. And then we're just going to connect that band. Check that connection for me. We're going to go into donkey kicks and rainbows. So we're going to start here. Arms are gonna be on that body bar. Fingers face forward. I want that, those shoulders and that chest to be lifted. Don't let yourself swoop down like this. Keep it high and proud. Wrists are gonna be directly underneath those shoulders. Here we go. We're gonna donkey kick and up. So it's gonna look like this. Might take a few seconds to get comfortable. Our legs are already sore. When you do this, a lot of times people want to <laughs> go like that. That's putting too much tension in that lower back. So keep that stomach sucked in. Make those abdominals work. Belly to spine, and we're going to kick. We want to work those glutes and not that lower back. Press into that body bar. And breathe. You guys are rock stars. We got five left. Also forgot to mention, try to keep a neutral neck. Two more. And one. All right. Next move. You can take those hands off that bar if you want for a second. We're going to do a rainbow. So 
Leg is gonna be straight out this time. Toe's gonna be pointed. We're gonna touch to the opposite side and come across in a rainbow type pattern. Not going super high. Nice and controlled. Keep that chest lifted. Five more, here we go, I'm feeling it too. Two more. Last one, make it the best. Woo! Go ahead, come off for a second. We got one more on that side, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. You guys are doing so awesome, I am so proud of you. All right, are we ready? Let's kill this, here we go. Nice lifted chest and donkey kick. In three, two, one, and go. Way to sit into it, guys. We've got five more. Check that chest. Is it lifted? Three, two, and one. Go ahead, extend that foot, point that toe. We're going into those rainbows. Rainbow is such a pretty name for this. Doesn't feel pretty though. My glutes are on fire. You got this. Five more. Finish strong. Two, last one, and one. Whew. Bring it down. Take that ankle strap off that foot. We're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna disconnect that strap. Put that hand weight on the right side. Use it as the anchor. Left side comes out. Grab that foot strap on there. Before we go to that, we're gonna do a low plank dip. Gotta get a little more abs in. So, options. You can be here on your knees, but I want you to start from the plank and then drop your knees. And we're gonna dip. Other option here, and dip. Option three, more advanced. Put those toes up on that body bar, and dip. Couple important things for this one. Make sure that your head or your neck is neutral, you're not looking down or looking up and putting too much strain in that neck. And then other thing, Brace those abs. I don't want you to dip down or bring in that butt up. Nice plank, flat position. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, and dip. Nice and controlled. Remember those modifications. Maybe you're on your knees. 
Maybe you're just on the mat, or maybe you're on the bar. I want you just to meet yourself where you're at. Four, three, two, one. Meet me in the neutral position. Slowly lower down. Bring yourself back. Turn around. And I did not forget about those glutes. So, again, on your ankle, on your foot, whatever's more comfortable for you. As you start working out, you'll kind of find that position that you like the most. I think everybody kind of has a little bit different one. All right. We are nice and tall, core is engaged, and donkey kick. In three, two, and one. Breathe it out. Five left. Four. Is your core embraced? Three, two, and one. Go ahead, point that toe, extend that leg, and we're gonna do our rainbows. Nice small taps. Five more, four, three, two, last one, and one. Come on up, bring that foot back down. Maybe go into a child's pose. Roll those wrists out. Relax that body a little bit. We've got our last set. All right, here we go. Come on up. Hands on that body bar. In three, two, one. We're donkey kicking. Here we go. Focus that attention. Five more, three, two, last one, extend that foot out, point that toe, and rainbow. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, bring that foot back. Take that strap off. You guys made it. Before we go, I want to stretch you out a little bit because I think it's so important to stretch out. So. We're gonna come into, your right knee is gonna be down on the ground. Bring that left leg out. We're just gonna sit into that. Really stretch out those hip flexors. Hold it wherever you're at.
sink a little lower if that's comfortable. All right, in three, I want you to slowly lengthen that leg. Bring it back. It's gonna stretch out that hamstring. You should feel it in those hamstrings. And back up into that lunge position. Slowing down that breath. Being so proud of yourself for making it through this workout. Slowly lengthen that leg. You may not be here, you may be here, or you may be even further. Wherever you're at. All right, release that tension. Brace those hands on that mat. Bring that foot back, and we're going to bring that right foot up this time. Sit into that knee. You might notice that one side is more flexible than the other. Totally normal. In three, two, one, go ahead and lengthen. Feel that stretch in that hamstring. Again, slowing down that breath. Really just sitting in the moment. Feel that tingling sensation in that hamstring. Go ahead, stretch it back forward. And lengthen one last time. Bring those hands down, foot back. Go ahead and come down. Sit into a pretzel or wherever is comfortable. We're just going to stretch out those arms just a little bit. So bring that right arm across that body. Feel that stretch. Feels amazing. Big, deep breaths. In through that nose and out through that mouth. Go ahead and release that right arm. Open that chest. Bring that left arm over. You guys are doing awesome. All right, bring those hands back down. You just made it through your first workout. So proud of you. At Flow Body Fitness here, we aspire to inspire. We do you for you, and we work together and rise. You guys got this. I am so proud of you. Thank you for coming and joining me. I want you to take at least, if you can, five minutes to stretch on your own, whatever's comfortable for you. All right. I'll see you on the mat again.